I added up all the GTA 5 characters' crimes to find out which one's the worst criminal, and the results shocked me. To help find the answer, I broke it down into three different categories of most crimes, worst crimes, and the motivation behind their crimes. Before I was able to figure out who committed the most crimes, a few challenges stood in the way. Determining how you define crimes within the context of the game is hard, because if I were to count every stop sign they run, or small violation, I'd never finish this video. However, if we only can consider criminal activities such as murders, robberies, and other felonies in the game's storyline, Michael has the longest history of crimes. He was born in 1965, where at a young age he committed petty theft crimes and eventually got involved with more serious things like armed robberies and carjacking. The game's prologue takes place in North Yankton, where players participate in a major bank robbery that turns Michael into one of the most wanted men, leading him to fake his own death. After pulling this off, Trevor is devastated and gets it's a tattoo in honor of Michael on his arm, but later finds out the truth. After they rekindle their friendship, they continue committing crimes and Michael eventually meets Franklin who's trying to move out of the hood and live a better life. Michael tells Franklin to help commit high risk, high reward crime and moves away from poverty and gang life to pursue a less violent lifestyle. So because of Michael's long history of crime, it's safe to assume he's committed the most crimes. But does this make him the worst criminal? Sure, he's selfish and his intent behind the crimes are to purely make money, but before you decide, let's figure out who's committed the worst crimes. After very little research, it's clear that Trevor Phillips is actually insane and commits the worst crimes out of the three main characters. But let's take a second to look at who's directing these crimes. Lester Crest is the guy who sets up heists and sits back while Trevor, Michael, and Franklin risk their lives to get a paycheck. Although Lester stands out the most, another guy by the name of Steve Haynes appears to be even more or corrupt. He uses Trevor to commit one of the most heinous crimes throughout the whole Grand Theft Auto series. Steve Haynes and Dave Norton both work for the FIB and illegally use Trevor and Michael to get leads on their cases. The guy Trevor tortures is a foreign spy and even though he happily pulls out his tooth, afterwards when Steve Haynes leaves, he tells the spy this isn't something he wants to be doing. Even though Steve Haynes directs the worst crime we've ever seen from Rockstar Games, Lester has a ton of crimes that are just just as bad. For example, in the friend request mission, he sends Michael to infiltrate Life Invader to replace their newest sample phone with an explosive phone so he can blow up the CEO on live TV just because he thinks it's funny. Basically, Steve Haynes is someone who commits violent crime for financial gain, and Lester is someone who commits violent crimes for financial gain and pure evil intention. In my opinion, Lester is the most notorious criminal, and after some more research, I found out just how disturbing he really is. In the Fleece of Lester explains to your online character that he's socially awkward and doesn't have many friends. He then goes on and talks about how he tricks girls on social media to meet up in person and instead of meeting them, he just watches them from a distance so they can experience the same neglect he felt throughout his childhood. Lester's background in childhood is still a mystery, but from what we do know, he was bullied throughout his life for his wasting disease. In the game, we see him walking around with a cane or sitting in a wheelchair. This disease in real life is called muscular dystrophy. His ability to hack into things isn't just used for financial gain, he's admitted to hacking into college girls' cameras and then stalking them. I'm not sure why, but I decided to spend an unnecessary amount of time adding up all of his crimes to see how long he'd be in prison for if this were real life. So if Lester was charged for all of his crimes in real life, which includes robbery, murder, hacking, spying, and money laundering, depending on his judge, he could face over 150 years in prison, three life sentences, and owe half a billion dollars in fines with the chance of death penalty. But even with all this information about Lester, I had a second thought on who really is the worst criminal in GTA 5. And who may that be? Your GTA Online character. Think about it. Lester plans heists and makes the main characters do it, but we do the same thing in GTA Online with our friends for fun. Steve Haynes and Trevor may have tortured one guy in an abandoned warehouse, but we've driven on sidewalk like our eyes were shut hundreds of times. So if you want to watch 25 more things we all do, watch this video, and as always, like and subscribe.